Hello, it's Ashley from Twinkle and this video is about cause and effect. It was me, I had the last treat. If the cause is the reason why something has happened, the effect is the result. The cupboard is empty. My family are left feeling a bit peckish because naughty me ate the last treat. The purpose for learning about cause and effect is a way we can apply it to finding out more about a situation, how something works and why something happened. Now it may be within a text in English, what was the cause of the character's demise? Why did the story climax in that way? And so children can analyse plot, character intention and find evidence in the text to support their reasoning. During close reading of a text, our super templates can be completed to detail the cause and the resulting effects. Completing illustrations on our unlined template is also a really nice way in. And reasoning in mathematics when children problem solve is another key moment where the language of cause and effect will be relevant. Proving and disproving. Danny was incorrect because she multiplied the two numbers where actually she should have divided them. And this would have provided her with the following number. Likewise, making predictions, observations, spotting patterns in science is another key moment where cause and effect will be necessary. I believe the ice cube melted faster because of the rising temperature. I will now try the same experiment outdoors to see if a cooler temperature makes any difference. When using any of our resources, essential conjunctions to use will be such as, because, so, to display the result, and to further the challenge if or since can be used. If I change the temperature now, the rate of melting may decrease. I hope these resources are beneficial for you and your children in accessing problem solving and reasoning across all subjects. Do subscribe to our channels and thank you for watching.